Good evening and welcome to evening prayer. As you can see, I am sitting in my garden. I hope you can hear me clearly. I am going to be using this booklet that we have got from the Church, Church Times. Um, normally I'm using this for morning prayer, but actually this evening I'm saying evening prayer or Compline. So all you need to do is settle and enjoy the peace and quiet and time in our Lord's presence. The eternal God is your refuge and underneath are the everlasting arms. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. We take time to pause and reflect on the day that's passed, the things that we've done and the things we haven't done, and give them into the Lord's hands. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. The psalm set for this evening is Psalm 91. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High and abides under the shadow of the Almighty shall say to the Lord, my refuge and my stronghold, my God, in whom I put my trust. For he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He shall cover you with his wings and you'll be safe under his feathers. His faithfulness shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of any terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, of the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor of the sickness that destroys at noonday. Though a thousand fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, yet it shall not come near you. Your eyes only have to behold to see the reward of the wicked because you have made the Lord your refuge and the Most High your stronghold. There shall no devil evil happen to you nor shall any plague come near your tent for he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you in their hands lest you dash your foot against a stone you shall shred upon a lion and an adder, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because they have set their love upon me, therefore I will deliver them. I will lift them up, because they know my name. They will call upon me, and I will answer them. I am with them in trouble. I will deliver them and bring them to honour. With long life will I satisfy them, and show them my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. There is a short reading for this evening for us to consider and go to sleep contemplating. It's taken from the book of Matthew, chapter 11, verses 28 to the end. Jesus said, Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. When I think of the word yoke, there are a couple of things that come to mind. I think of the big metal, the big wooden piece that is yoked, yoking two cattle together as they plough the field. But I also think of the milkmaid carrying that yoke across her shoulders with the two pails hanging on each end as she carefully balances that yoke 
and walks a steady path so as not to slop the milk out anywhere. That's a vision I have of yoke. What do you think about yoke? Let us turn to our prayers. Merciful God, we entrust to you, to your unfailing and tender care this night, those who are ill or in pain. Know it that whatever danger threatens, your everlasting arms are there to hold us safe. Comfort and heal them, and restore them to health and strength, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may rest upon your eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we turn to the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples and the one that we have learned as children at school and we hear in every service at church. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly upon us and give us peace. Amen. And I apologise for the meow in the middle. I think my cats thought I was going to sit out here and they would be looking for some more tea. They will be fed in a minute or two. <laughs> <laughs>